Okay, so for varies directly, S equals K times R. Now you could also isolate the K and S divided by R equals K is also a correct answer. For varies inversely, Y equals K divided by X. Or again, you can isolate the K. T varies directly as R and inversely with S. So we'll start with the directly and then inversely with S. For jointly, that's a double direct, so it's K times R times H. And for E, F varies jointly with K and M and inversely with the square of V. So to start for 37, we have to write a general equation to first find K. So Y varies inversely with X. Well, y is negative 2 and X is 25. So to solve for K, we get negative 50. So then using our initial equation with K plugged in, we can find X when Y is 40. So we're going to multiply the X to this side, divide by negative 40, so X equals 5 fourths. So reading our word problem, the time varies inversely with the rate of the pump. So time varies inversely with the rate of the pump. It takes 60 minutes, that's the time, and 230 gallons per minute is a rate. So 60 equals K over 230. We're going to multiply by 230 to solve for K. And that equals 13,800. So then writing our equation with K substituted in. Then we have to solve for when 300 gallons. So that's 300 gallons per minute is our rate. So 13,800 divided by 300 is 46 minutes. Y varies directly with X and inversely with Z. Then plugging in what we know, Then we have to solve for x. So first I'm going to reduce these and then multiply, oops, should be a k. Then we're going to multiply by 6. So then rewriting our equation. Now we're going to substitute in x and z. If we multiply our numerator, that's 162 divided by 10, so 16.2 is y.